Worship the old data, huh? Uh, I don't like worshiping anything. I uh, Worshiping stuff is not a good idea. Don't worship things, kids. It always turns out bad. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dustin Turner, and welcome back to Inscription. So this might be the final episode of Act 2. I was reading the comments, and it sounds like I'm on my way to figuring out the secrets in Act 2. I just need to go into Grimora's basement, and there's going to be something down there, which is the one place I haven't been to yet. So we'll go into her basement, hopefully be able to figure that out. It has something to do with the mycologist. So I need his card, which I can also, I can farm foils. So I need to make sure I do that before I finish this act. And it also had something to do with the ancient coin, which I, I have no idea what that does. Maybe, maybe the ancient coin has something to do with whatever's in the basement. And then too, I was seeing several people want me to build a mox deck, which I do really like the deck that I have right now. The deck I'm using right now is pretty freaking awesome and I'm I'm having a breeze like I haven't lost a single battle yet even when I tried to lose what was that against PO3 even when I tried to lose I still won so I will go through the cards that I have all the mox cards that I have and we'll see maybe maybe I'll piece together a mox deck but on to the last area of act two let's go so all right as I'm looking through my mox cards here i don't have very good options <laughs> these aren't these aren't very good i'm thinking what could be cool but i don't have the cards to do it yet is to build a deck around like powering up some of these cards so like a deck powering up the stim mage and gore mage because those could obviously get very powerful very quickly um, as you just continue to hit the button and power them up. But I need more cards. Like, I only have one of this guy. I would just need more cards. Uh, if you have ideas for decks, uh, post it in the comments. Maybe I'm missing cards still. I mean, I could do that. Maybe just go and buy a bunch of foils. Uh, or buy a bunch of card packs for foils. And buy a bunch of the mage packs. For right now, though, I'm sticking with my with my deck. I think my deck is freaking crazy good. But okay, last place. Let's go. What do we got here? Hello. You're here. Marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. So I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. Okay. And you're the stink bug. Hello, stink bug. You will forever be stink bug. You found a piece of epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. Okay. What is this? You sifted through the bones and found a card pack. Oh. Deathly card pack. Okay. There's another one of those. Don't need them anymore, though. Bone heap. Paid two bones to increase the power and health of the bone heap. Oh. Oh, wait. It doesn't cost anything to get out. Ah. Hey, see, see? This is a good card. Like, I should put this card in my deck right now. Because I don't really have a use for bones. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm going to take out a Mrs. Bomb. Because I should only need... Because that, that is basically a hard reset. That is a, a hard board reset. Um, I should only need one of those. And then, let's put in the Bone Heap. Okay, who are you? Oh no. Oh no. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please, let us get it over with. Okay. Okay, Mr. Skeleton. 
Um, do I want to reset? No, I get this card every time. I don't know how that keeps happening. Well, we can put this guy down just to block two damage and then he can hit him for one as well. Let's do that. Oh. He's out. Okay, here's the play. I'm going to set him over here so that the dog then chases him and blocks this guy from coming out. Yep. Boom. So now, instead of taking damage from either the dog or the or the revenant, or both, uh, now the dog's blocking him, and I'm not going to take anything. All right, let's go. Boop. I don't know if I want to put out anything, do I? You know, I could do this. Fires off shot. Boop. Then, oh, can I take another shot? Oh, hey. Yeah, see, okay. So I'll do that. I Even after me just saying that I can push the button multiple times, I forgot that I can push the mo button multiple times. Okay. So he's done. And, okay, let's end it. Oh, and he's gone after attacking a Parishes. Okay. There's my Ouroboros buddy. Yeah, let's just put out this guy. Start doing some damage. Okay. He's gone. Put out this guy. Boop. And let's put out this guy. Power him up. Boop. Now one, two. But you know what? Let's just win it. I don't need to keep these going. I mean, that's 10 excess foils. It is over. You chewed me out. Now, please, look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. Okay. Are you about to perish? Fall apart and die. What is this? Necromancer? When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, that's that's pretty cool, actually. You could combo that with um, something that gives a bunch of bones. So say if, if a card dies and it has that uh, stas effect where it gives you like four bones, you could combo that with this and get eight bones. Okay. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please, do not go digging up my bones. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, Sawyer Paddle, 1702, Fall, 1778. Okay. Uh, did you just leave goo? Uh, you're now just a pile of goo. Okay. What is this? He sent him a taff. It reads, "Do not hold, does not hold a grudge." And then, is this the traitor over here? Yes. Uh, let's just see what you're holding. You wish to trade? Maybe. Just want to see what you got. Oh, here he is. Okay. Let's just get that card immediately. Okay. Oh, and what is that, Draugr? Oh, and there's another bone heap. Well, okay. Let's just immediately go to the mycologist and see if we can give him that card. Oh, I need... Of course I need two of them. That's... Like, what was I thinking? Duh. I need two of them. <laughs> we'll hold off on that. We'll go into the basement. See what's going on in the basement here. What do we got? Found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, brought down by scurvy. Oh. That's unfortunate. And a gust of foul-smelling air billows from the casket. Oh, there's something in there. Hello. You look a little concerning. In oh, hey. So there we go. Dark Offering. I just got that achievement. So he wanted the obol. Okay, now we're going farther down. Oh my... What the fuck is this? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, seriously. Oh my god, what are, what are we doing here? I mean, it looks like a rib cage. Oh. Hi. The hell? Worship the old data, huh? Uh, I don't like worshiping anything. I uh, worshiping stuff is not a good idea. Don't worship things, kids. It always turns out bad. Okay, so you're serious. Good. You may not understand its meaning, not even I do fully, but you appreciate its power. The old data does not take, and it does not give, but I do. Please accept my meager offerings. Oh. Oh. What the hell? Okay, what is this? You found a card atop the pedestal. Ooh, what is this? Pay one energy to gain three bones. Ooh, Bone Lord's Horn. Okay, well, that's, I mean, that's a pretty cool card, but it's not good for my deck because I use energy as a main source. Yeah, you can make a really good, wow, you could get so many bones so fast. That is a great card. You know what? I'm I'm almost thinking these death decks, that could have been a really fun deck. What is this? The Bone Lord's Femur and endows the holder with bones at the start of the battle. Nice. And then a key. You found a strange flickering key. Its use cannot be yet be understood. Okay, so I have a key though. Okay, well, this was kind of crazy. Okay, let's continue on this main story here. Burr, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help? Okay, sure. I'll fight you, Mr. Skeleton Man. What did it give me? Three bones at the start. That's cool. And again, every freaking time I start out with that card. What do we got here? Okay, so we can place this here. Kill that guy. Um, then we can... Should we get the energy? Probably. Just get the energy here. Oh, and I can put down that guy as well. You know, let's do it. Let's just put him over here. And then, yeah, that skeleton's gonna die. Okay. You know, I could fire twice, in which I might do that. Let's fire. Boop. Then, yep, skeleton. Boop. And take him out. Okay. Send it. Gonna take a shot, but it's fine. He collapses. Yeah, this is probably a good card. We'll put him down there. And it. Oop. Take his free shot. Kill him immediately. He'll die. He releases a skeleton. Kills a skeleton. Look at that. Those turrets, man. Um, but I can't really do anything else here. But you know what? I could do this just to get uh, some damage out. Okay, he's done. He collapses. Man. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna win. No extra foils, but hey, we won. All right. Didn't really get great card draws there. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Okay. Thank you. Can I get another one of those uh, weird cowboy cards? Uh, dead hand. When dead hand is playing, discard your hand, then draw a new hand for of four cards okay well that's interesting actually that could be really good um if you're out of cards 
play that, or maybe you only have one card that you don't really care about, you play that and you get four new cards. Uh, nothing really new there, though. You did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's K -K Casey. Casey Hobbs. Wait, are you, uh, from Casey's Mod? Spelled the same. I'm from the tombstone on the left. Found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, Casey Hobbs, 1970, winter 1992. Okay. Uh, there's something in the well. You pulled up an epitaph piece. It reads, the defibrillator failed. Okay. Oh. I just did it again. Just to see what would happen. Uh, drown soul. When drown soul damages another creature, the creature perishes. All right. That's interesting. Can I keep pulling up stuff? Nope. Guess that was it. All right. So, um... Oh. Ah, okay. I see what's going on. Okay, so you were the tombstone on the left. So, this was you. It did say the defibrillator failed on your side. So, okay. This one. You were Sawyer, the middle one. And I, I can't read them. I don't remember which one was which. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out as we keep it going, though. Park, a living slice of lemon approaches. Bright and trig as a lime. Ye think ye will squeeze a defeat out of me? Uh, probably. You have a cool little ship on your card, though. Again, got that card. Um, well, I can kill that card. What is it? Ghost ship will move in the direction inscribed. Oh, and drop a skeleton in its old place. Ooh. Okay, well, let's just get rid of that card immediately. Boop. Dead. Okay. He collapsed. Okay, let's put out this guy only because uh, the next turn I can win. Collapse because then I can just do this. And put out Orbors. Boop. Sweet. Easy. You beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take you this. Okay. A new card pack. Uh, another one of these guys. So nothing interesting here. Okay. And because you bested me with ye, I'll share me secret. My name's Royal. Eyes the far right tomb. Here's the headpiece. Okay. Royal Dominguez, 1589 to spring, 1632. Okay. Well, okay. So let's see. So this is you. That's what happens uh, when you're a pirate on the seas. You get scurvy, but maybe we'll figure out something else as we move along here. Okay. Hit by a falling piece of ice. Oh. Did you die from a falling piece of ice, maybe? Okay, you found a card pack. That's a new one. A headless horseman, airborne. At the end of the owner's turn, a headless horseman will move in a direction. Inscribed, okay. Oh, he's a 5-5 five, five for 13 bones. That's never going to happen. Wow, 13 bones? That's terrible. You're never going to get 13 bones. Wow, you would have to... No, that's, that's terrible. That card is never going to get used. That is just a really bad Ouroboros. Like, way worse in every way than Ouroboros. Okay, well. Let's see, what do we got here? On a piece of the epitaph, it reads, There was no cure. Okay. And we got a fun little mirror room here. Whoa. And I keep changing. What was the original me? This was the original me, right? 
But actually, yeah, like, what is the original me? Like, why was I that character to begin with? Okay, now I'm this guy. Got it. Okay. Marvelous. I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. No. Wait. Um, so I'll, I'll show the completed thing, but um, yeah, I did notice because he was the left one. He thought it was cold, so he was probably killed by the iceberg, and maybe he has a piece of an iceberg in his head. Um, and then he was the only one, he died in the 90s, which was the only one that would have even had a defibrillator. Uh, <laughs> the other ones were like 1700s and 1600s, I think. Um, and then this one, he was talking about barking, so he's probably killed by a dog, but he doesn't hold regrets. And then this guy was the pirate who died of scurvy, and there was no cure. Um, but before we go to you, um, I want to find a second cowboy. This is a new one, the walkers. When the walkers die, four bones are awarded instead of one. Oh, and it costs four bones to get out, too. Oh, and here's a new one, too. Pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. That's interesting. And it's only one bone, too. That well, seems all right. It doesn't seem that great, though. I mean, that is almost like an unlimited sacrifice almost because I mean the skeleton's gonna die and give you a bone so I mean, you might be able to figure out some cool uh, mechanics with that card okay this is the last pack hey I got him hey look at that and this terrible card all right so I got two grave diggers and luckily because that was the last pack I'm out of foils now down to two okay so I got two of them. Let's let's go to the mycologist. Our experiments must continue. Two, two of the same. Oh, you you have the cards. Sacrifice two of the great vigor cards. Yes. This is good. Close your eyes. This this will be gruesome. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Here is your prize. Okay. Uh, at the end of the owner's turn, Spore Digger will generate one bone. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Spore Digger will generate one bone. Okay, so he generates two bones. And nice, he's holding a mushroom instead of a shovel. He might still be holding the shovel, but... And he only costs one bone. It's, I mean, that's a, that's a good card. Okay, it was added. Okay. Whoa. Two rats. We, we require for our experiments. We require duplicates. See the diagram? You have done well now. Hand the cards over. Oh, and I do have two field mice. What are the field mice? Hold on, no. Ah, so it's these cards. When Field Mice has played a copy of it, it's created in your hands. Okay. I mean, that's actually not a terrible card. It's not It's not very good. It's not terrible. It's not very good, though, either. Well, let's let's keep it going. Okay. Let's, let's sacrifice him. Close your eyes. Would you like to see what we've done? Yes. Ooh, okay. So it's still a two cost two two. When spore mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. When spore mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Okay. So I get two spore mice instead of one. It didn't it didn't upgrade the stats though, which kinda sucks. Would have been nice if it did. Okay. Another one down. Oh, and I have I have those cards too. Should we keep this going? Our experiments must continue. Two two of the same. Oh, you have the cards. 
sure. I know what the sentry drone is. Oh, look away. I believe this research has brought us one step closer to understanding. We must not speak of that. Wait, speak of what? So, it's still a one energy zero one, but it dealt one damage. So it's dealt two damage instead of one damage. It's basically what it is. I'll take it. And maybe there's one more. So which guy is that? It's a it's a mage with two balls. Can we find a mage with two balls? It's this guy. It's the blue mage, which I already have two of those cards. Well, okay. So let's do this one too. We work harder for her experiments. We work on duplicates. See the diagram. I do, and I have two of those. You actually have the cards. Good. Hand them over. Yes. This is good. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do believe we have found a clue with this one. Oh. For, for the c c the code, yes, but we must not speak more of it. Wait, what? What do you mean? The blue spore mage is played. You draw cards equal to the amount of monks cards on your side of the board. Also, when the blue spore mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of monks cards. Okay. So you just draw double. That's pretty good. Oh! I just got a key. Oh, and we're back to the grave digger. You found a strange flickering key. Its use cannot be understood. So I have two keys now. So okay, I think I'm done with the mycologist. Uh oh, I'm almost afraid to continue. Because is two keys all that I need? Do I need more than two keys though? Okay, well, I'm not sure. I, I looked around the map, I went back down to the Bone Lord. I, I, I checked around, I didn't notice anything new that I could do. Uh, I don't want to stop the game just for that, so I think I've done everything that I can. Um, so let's 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 fight Grimoire. Marvelous, just marvelous. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever, locked down at the mercy of the challenger's wits until one day discovered. But no, you prevailed, and now it's time to. Battle. Oh, something's wrong. It's your deck, or rather, your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it. Oh, my bad. Yeah, because I took out, or I didn't take out, but I lost the sentry drone. So let's do this. Let's put in our sentry spore and put in one sentry drone. Okay. Now we're okay. Let's try this again. That looks much better. Where were we? Oh. Our minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. Really? They don't? Um, okay, well now I need to reset. Or do I need to reset? I mean, I like that I have Ouroboros, but yeah, let's let's reset. Oh, and that, that didn't help either. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to block the damage yet. And this is a bad hand. <laughs> okay. This is a problem. Okay, here's the plan. I can put down this guy. He's going to move. So he's going to block the Banshee from coming out. He's going to absorb the damage. And then, next turn, I can put out the Mrs. Bomb and clear the board. So that is what I'm going to do. Okay. And actually, before any of this even happens, I'm going to do this. Okay. It's going to detonate. Do I want everything to detonate? Probably, because I don't think I want that guy there, do I? You know what? Yeah, let's, let's detonate everything. 
An opportunity to use my quill. Yeah. Rip explode bot turn three to turn three. What? This one will be back. No matter. Death is never final. Okay. Sarcophagus. Death by explode bot. That one will be back in no time. Okay. Another explode bot. Okay. And now. That card can fly over my card anyways. So. Let's put this guy here. I'm gonna put this guy here. He'll kill the Banshee. Let's use two bones. Grow stronger. Two bones. Grow stronger. Grow stronger. Grow stronger. Excellent. Now he's a 4 5. Boop. Take a shot. Death. Okay. Rip to the Banshee. And they didn't place any cards out. So I don't have to play anything in which I'm not going to. I'm pretty sure she's about to put out my explode bots. So you're halfway there. So you may not like what comes next. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, she killed my cards. You missed them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course. As corpses. Oh. Oh, thanks. Well, that didn't help this card out. Oh, but actually... So let's put out this guy. Let's put out this guy. Let's sacrifice. Get out the bear. And then, yeah, that's a, that's a win. So let's put out this guy. Let's increase his power. And we can put out this guy over here. And that should be a win. With an extra foil. Here. Easy. And okay, that's all for what's about to happen. Doomed a necromancer achievement. You, you really defeated me. I was not expecting that. Your ambition is to replace PO3, but, well, between you and I, there will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg that you spare me. Take this. Then go. Okay, well what is that? You received a Deathly card pack. Hey, and another Gravedigger. Another Bone Heap. And the cat! Hello, Mr. Cat. Okay, added. Another card pack. This is new. An 8 Bone 3-3. Three, three. That's a lot of bones. And Frank and Stein. A five bone two two. Hmm. Cards were added. These these bone decks seem pretty interesting. I probably would have had a lot of fun building bone decks. Um, I'm not sure though, because I have a feeling we're gonna go into Act Three. I did already look around. I don't think I've missed anything else. But are the decks gonna be the same? Like, are we gonna hold on to the decks? Yeah, and I started looking around again. I don't, I don't see anything extra. Um, okay. It is time, Challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Okay, now actually, this seems like a spot where maybe I should end it. Um, and I'll let you all choose which scribe should I replace. I mean, I th as I'm just kind of thinking about it, probably PO3 is who I would replace. But at the same time, if that's going to like get rid of that character in the game, I, I don't want that to happen because he's like my favorite character. But I'll just let you all decide. Leave it in the comments. Who should I replace? And until the next one, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and or subscribe. Take care, everybody. Cheers.